A major cause of FPS drops, lag and stuttering is CPU bottlenecking, which happens when background tasks eat up your CPU power, leaving less for your games. In today's video, I'll walk you through powerful CPU tweaks that can fix this problem and help you achieve smoother gameplay with higher FPS. Make sure to watch until the end and drop your PC specs in the comments. I'll give you free, personalized suggestions to boost your performance. Let's get started. Frustrated with the lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need gear a booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. One of the most common reasons behind CPU bottlenecking to fix this and boost your PC's overall performance, we need to disable power throttling completely. Start by pressing Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog box. Type gpedit.msc and hit Enter. This will open the local group policy editor. Now navigate through the following path. Computer configuration, administrative templates, system, power management. Once you're in the power management folder, look for a subfolder called power throttling settings. Open it and you'll see a setting named turn off power throttling. Double click on it, then set it to enabled. This will effectively disable power throttling across your system. Click apply, then OK, and you're done. Disabling this setting allows your CPU to run at full potential without Windows holding it back, which can help eliminate bottlenecks and improve your FPS and system responsiveness, especially in demanding tasks like gaming or content creation. Now that we've taken care of unnecessary background services, the next step is to optimize your system configuration settings for better performance. Start by typing msconfig into the Windows search bar and opening the system configuration window. Once you're in, click on the Boot tab and then select Advanced Options. In this section, you'll see an option labeled Number of Processors. Check the box next to it and from the drop-down menu, select the maximum number available. This ensures that Windows uses all your CPU cores during startup, improving boot times and overall system responsiveness. For instance, if your processor supports four cores, set it to four. Once you've done that, click OK, then hit Apply and finally OK again. You don't need to restart right away, but make sure to reboot your PC later for the changes to take full effect. This tweak doesn't increase your FPS directly, but it does make your system snappier and more responsive, especially when launching games or multitasking. Next up, we're going to use one of the most effective CPU optimization tools available, Process Lasso. This utility is known for dramatically improving system responsiveness and reducing CPU bottlenecks, especially during gaming. To get it, simply head over to uptopacks.com. Once you're on the site, go to the FPS Boost section. There, you'll easily spot the latest post. It will have the same title and thumbnail as this YouTube video, so you can't miss it. Click on the post and you'll find a direct download link for Process Lasso. Download the tool to your PC, and once it's installed, you'll be ready to follow the next steps in this guide. Once you've finished installing Process Lasso, open the application and head to the main menu. From there, go to Active Profile and set it to bit some high performance. This power plan is designed to unleash your CPU's full potential by disabling unnecessary power saving features. Once this is selected, no further changes are needed under the power control section. Next, navigate to the Pro Balance section. Here, uncheck the box to disable Pro Balance. Then go back to the main menu and uncheck Performance Mode Enable to lock in optimal performance settings without over adjusting system behavior. Now it's time to optimize the specific game where you're experiencing low FPS or CPU bottlenecks. Launch your game, whether it's Fortnite, Valorant, CS2, or any other, and then go back to Process Lasso. Under Active Processes, locate the game's running process. Right-click on it, go to CPU Priority, choose Always, and set it to High. After that, go to CPU Affinity, select Always, and make sure all CPU cores are assigned. This ensures the game takes full advantage of your processor's resources. Next, move to Memory Priority, set it to Always, and change the value to Above Normal to give your game a higher priority when accessing RAM. Then once again, right-click on the same process, go to Power Profile, and select Bitsum High Performance, or your own custom power plan created through Power Control. 
Finally, right-click the game's .exe file, go to More, and choose Disable Idle Saver to prevent the system from lowering performance during idle states. After applying all these settings, you can close Process Lasso. It will continue to run silently in the background, automatically applying these optimizations every time you boot your PC. With these tweaks in place, you should notice a significant boost in FPS, smoother gameplay, and a major reduction in CPU bottlenecks. Now open the CPU optimization folder included with the files you've downloaded. Inside, you'll find several important tweaks and installers designed to enhance CPU performance. It's crucial that you install each file one by one, carefully and without skipping any steps. These tweaks work together to reduce background CPU load and ensure smoother performance during gaming or heavy workloads. Once that's done, open the CPU priority folder. Here, you'll see two subfolders, one for Intel CPUs and another for AMD CPUs. Select the folder that matches your processor type. For example, if you're using an Intel CPU, open the Intel folder and run the installer inside. If you have an AMD CPU, go into the AMD folder and install the corresponding file. These files apply specific priority optimizations tailored to your CPU architecture, helping your system allocate resources more efficiently to reduce bottlenecks and improve frame rates. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let Gear Up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. To improve your PC's gaming performance and reduce CPU bottlenecks, it's crucial to disable certain background services that unnecessarily consume system resources like CPU, RAM, and disk usage. Start by typing services into the Windows search bar and open the Services app. This will display a comprehensive list of background services running on your system, many of which you may not need. Disabling a few of these can help free up valuable performance for gaming. One such service is Connected User Experiences and Telemetry. This service continuously sends diagnostic and usage data to Microsoft. If you don't wish to share this data and want to free up system resources, right-click on the service, go to Properties, set the startup type to Disabled, and then click Apply and OK. Another non-essential service you can safely turn off is Downloaded Maps Manager. Unless you use offline maps, this service serves no practical purpose for most gamers. Likewise, if you don't own or use a printer, disabling the print spooler service is completely safe and can reduce background load. The Windows Biometric service is meant for fingerprint scanners, so if you're on a desktop without biometric hardware, you can disable it without any side effects. Additionally, there's the Windows Insider service, which is only relevant for users enrolled in Microsoft's Insider program to test early builds. If you're not part of it, go ahead and disable this one too. As you go through these services, take your time and do a bit of research before disabling anything unfamiliar. For example, some users might disable Bluetooth support service, only to later realize they rely on Bluetooth devices. Disabling it will completely stop Bluetooth functionality. Being cautious ensures you optimize performance without losing essential features. A few minutes spent making these tweaks can lead to noticeable improvements in gaming responsiveness and overall system performance. Now it's time to apply some essential Windows settings that can further reduce CPU bottlenecking and improve your system's overall performance. Start by opening the Windows search bar and typing Adjust. From the results, click on Adjust the appearance and performance of Windows. This will open the Performance Options window. By default, it's usually set to Adjust for best appearance. 
which prioritizes visual effects over speed. To improve performance, select Adjust for Best Performance. This setting disables all unnecessary animations and graphical effects, freeing up CPU resources. However, to maintain a smooth and usable interface, while still optimizing for speed, it's a good idea to manually re-enable a few essential options. These include animate windows when minimizing and maximizing, save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, show window contents while dragging, smooth edges of screen fonts. These specific settings help keep the system visually functional without putting unnecessary strain on the CPU. Once you've made these adjustments, click Apply, then OK to save the changes. Next, switch over to the Advanced tab within the same window. Under Processor Scheduling, make sure it's set to Programs instead of Background Services. This ensures your system gives maximum CPU priority to the apps you're actively using, like games or editing software, rather than spreading resources to background tasks. For example, if you're playing a game, this setting makes sure the game gets priority access to your CPU for smoother gameplay and fewer frame drops. So that wraps up today's video, guys. If you found it helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more performance boosting tips. Thanks for watching. Peace out.